Welcome back today, first up the 1985 large date 5 cent coin. If you're a collector or just curious about the value of your coins, stick around as we uncover what makes this coin special and its value in today's auction market. First, let's take a look at the design of the 1985 5 cent coin. This coin features the iconic beaver, a symbol of Canada's rich natural history and an important part of the country's heritage. The reverse side showcases the beaver swimming, while the obverse features the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II. The 1985 large date variant is characterized by its distinctively larger numerals compared to its smaller date counterparts. The five cent coin, often referred to as a nickel, has been in circulation in Canada since 1858. The 1985 issue is particularly interesting as it marked a significant change in the design of the coin due to the size of the date. Collectors often seek the large date variety because it stands out from the smaller date version, making it more desirable. This coin was minted from nickel and has a diameter of 21.2 mm. Approximately 73 million five cent coins were produced in 1985, but not all of them are created equal. The large date variety, especially in circulated condition, holds a unique place in the hearts of collectors. Now, Let's talk about the value of the 1985 large date 5 cent coin in today's auction market. In circulated condition, these coins typically sell for about $17,000. However, the price can vary significantly depending on the specific condition and the buyer's willingness to pay. Recently, we've seen auction prices range from as low as $18,000 for coins in average circulated condition to as high as $20,000 or more for those in better condition. Collectors are particularly keen on well-preserved specimens with minimal wear and clear details. If you're looking to add this coin to your collection or assess its value, here are a few tips. First, inspect the coin closely for any signs of wear. Coins in better condition will have sharper details on the beaver and a clear date. Always consider getting your coins appraised by a professional if you believe you have a high-value specimen. The 1985 large date 5 cent coin may not break the bank, but it certainly holds a charm and historical significance that appeals to many collectors. Its value in the market may fluctuate, but owning a piece of Canadian history is always rewarding. Next up the 1941 copper wheat one penny, specifically the large date with the cement mark in fine condition, will explore its history, significance, and its impressive value in today's auction market. In 1941, the US Mint produced two varieties of the penny, the small date and the large date. The large date variety is particularly notable for its distinctive design and is often more sought after by collectors. The S mint mark indicates that this penny was minted in San Francisco, adding to its rarity and desirability. Now, let's discuss the condition of our featured coin. Fine coins in fine condition exhibit moderate wear but still retain some of their original details. For the 1941 large date with an S mint mark, collectors look for clarity in the design, particularly in Lincoln's features and the wheat stalks on the reverse. Coins in fine condition often display a light to moderate patina, which can enhance their aesthetic appeal while also signaling their authenticity and age. In today's auction market, the value of the 1941 copper wheat one penny with an S mint mark in fine condition can vary based on demand, the specific auction setting, and the provenance of the coin. Recent auction records indicate that coins in this condition have sold for prices ranging from $15,000 depending on the buyer's interest and the coin's unique characteristics. A coin that has been well-preserved with clear details and minimal distractions can command higher prices. For instance, a recent sale of a 1941 S large date penny in fine condition fetched $27,000 at a major auction house, underscoring the demand for this particular piece. The interest in wheat pennies, particularly those from the 1940s, has surged in recent years. Collectors are drawn not only to the historical significance of these coins, but also to the thrill of hunting for specific varieties, such as the 1941 large date with the S mint mark. This coin is a great addition to any collection, whether you're a seasoned numismatist or a newcomer looking to start your journey. Its blend of affordability and historical value makes it an appealing choice for many. In conclusion, the 1941 Copper Wheat One Penny Large Date with an S Mint Mark in fine condition is a treasure in the world of coin collecting. Its historical significance, coupled with a reasonable price range, makes it a fantastic option for collectors of all levels. Next up the 1978 Large Date 5 Cent Piece. If you're a collector or just curious about its value, you've come to the right place. So, let's get started. The 1978 Canada 5 Cents coin features the iconic beaver design a symbol of Canada's rich natural resources and the fur trade that shaped its early economy. 
This particular coin was minted in a year that saw significant changes in Canadian coinage, and today, we're focusing on the large date variety. On the obverse side, we see the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, which is a common feature on Canadian coins. The reverse side showcases a beaver, skillfully crafted, representing industry and perseverance. It's important to note that the 1978 large date variety has a distinct font and spacing that sets it apart from its smaller date counterpart. In 1978, the Royal Canadian Mint produced approximately 70 million five cent coins. While that might sound like a lot, the large date version is less common than you'd think. Collectors often seek out this specific variety due to its unique characteristics. When it comes to coin collecting, condition is crucial. The 1978 five cents coin can be found in various conditions, but for today's discussion, we'll focus on the circulated ones. Coins in circulated condition will show signs of wear and tear, such as scratches, discoloration, and slight loss of detail. Even in this condition, the 1978 large date can still hold value among collectors, especially if it is well preserved. Coins are often graded on a scale from good to uncirculated, so keep that in mind if you're considering purchasing or selling one. Now, let's talk about value. As of today's auction market, the 1978 large date 5 cents coin in circulated condition typically ranges from $32,000 depending on its specific grade and demand among collectors. However, some examples, particularly those in better than average condition, have sold for higher prices, sometimes reaching up to $36,000 or more. It's fascinating to see how market dynamics can affect coin values. For instance, certain auctions have seen bidding wars for coins in great condition, demonstrating the growing interest in this specific piece of Canadian history. Familiarize yourself with the specifics of the coin. Including its design and minting details sites like eBay or specialized coin auction websites often have listings that can give you an idea of current market trends engaging with fellow collectors can provide valuable insights and help you make informed decisions. To wrap up, the 1978 Canada 5 cents large date coin, even in circulated condition, remains a sought-after piece among collectors due to its historical significance and unique features. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, Keeping an eye on this coin can be rewarding. Next up the 1944 copper wheat penny with a large date and a D mint mark. To understand the value of this coin, we need to take a quick trip back in time. The 1944 copper wheat penny was minted during a unique period in American history. Following World War II, the US mint faced a shortage of copper, which led to a significant change in coin production. The majority of pennies produced in 1944 were made from zinc-coated steel, a substitute to conserve copper for military use. However, a small number of copper pennies were also minted, particularly those produced in 1944 at the Denver Mint. Now, let's take a closer look at the 1944 copper wheat penny. This coin features the classic design by Victor David Brenner, showcasing President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse, while the reverse displays the iconic wheat sheaves. The D Mint mark, found on the reverse below the word 1, indicates that this penny was produced at the Denver Mint. Condition plays a crucial role in the value of coins especially when it comes to circulated coins. The 1944 copper wheat penny is often found in varying conditions from heavily worn to well-preserved examples. Circulated coins may exhibit signs of wear, such as scratches, dullness, or discoloration. However, even in circulated condition, the 1944 copper wheat penny can command impressive auction prices, particularly if the coin is well-defined and retains some of its original luster. So what is the value of the 1944 copper wheat penny with a D-mint mark in today's auction market? Recent sales data indicates that these coins, even in circulated condition, can sell for anywhere between $30,000 to $50,000 depending on their specific grade and demand among collectors. However, higher grade examples, such as those graded fine to very fine, can fetch upwards of $100,000 or more at auction. For instance, a 1944 D penny in fine condition recently sold at auction for $50,000, while a well-preserved example in very fine condition reached an astonishing $56,000 these auction results demonstrate the strong interest to quiet's potation in this particular coin among collectors driven by its historical significance and relative rarity. Let's hear from some experts in the field. Collectors often emphasize the importance of knowing the coin's history, condition, and market trends when assessing its value. Many enthusiasts actively seek out the 1944 copper wheat penny due to its unique background and the thrill of owning a piece of history from the World War II era. In conclusion, the 1944 copper wheat penny with a D-mint mark is more than just a penny, it represents a pivotal moment in American history. 
Its value in today's auction market reflects both its scarcity and the ongoing passion for coin collecting. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer to the hobby, this coin is undoubtedly one to keep an eye on. Next up, the Canada 5 cents 1976 large date coin will explore its history, design features, and most importantly, its value in today's auction market. The Canada 5 cents coin from 1976 features a rich history and has become a sought-after piece among collectors. This coin is significant not only for its design, but also for its varying values based on condition. First, let's talk about the historical context. The 5 cents coin has been in circulation since 1858, but in 1976, the Royal Canadian Mint released a special coin. This was part of Canada's centennial celebrations. The large date version, which we're focusing on today, was produced during a time of transition in Canadian coinage. On the obverse side of the 1976 five cents, you'll find the iconic profile of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Arnold Machine. The reverse showcases the beaver, a symbol of Canada, designed by George W. Kruger Gray. The large date variant has a noticeable difference in the numeral size, which is what collectors are keenly looking for. Now, let's talk about condition. Coins are graded on a scale, and fine condition means the coin shows some wear, but the major design features are still clear. A fine condition coin may have some scratches or minor imperfections, but it should still maintain its integrity. In the case of the Canada 5 cents 1976 large date, fine condition examples can fetch a premium in the auction market. But how much exactly? According to recent auction results, a Canada 5 cents 1976 large date in fine condition can be valued between $14,000. However, if the coin has been exceptionally preserved or has interesting provenance, it can even reach higher values, sometimes going over $15,000 or more at auctions. The key factors that affect its value include the coin's overall condition, any unique features, and the current demand among collectors. If you're looking to buy or sell this coin, here are a few tips. Always check multiple sources for auction results to get a feel for current market trends. Join coin collector communities online and don't hesitate to get your coin appraised by a professional if you think it might be more valuable than it seems. Lastly, let's briefly touch on coin care. To maintain your Canada 5 cents 1976 in fine condition, handle it by the edges, store it in a protective coin holder, and keep it away from extreme temperatures or humidity. Proper care can help preserve its value over time. Next up, the 1958 large date one cent coin, which was minted without a mint mark. This particular coin has become quite a collector's item, especially in fine condition. So let's explore its history, significance, and current auction values. The wheat penny was introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, the reverse of the coin features two stalks of wheat which is how it earned its nickname. The Wheat Penny series ran until 1958, making the 1958 coin particularly special as it was the last of its kind. In 1958, the U.S. Mint produced two varieties of the penny, the small date and the large date. The large date is distinguished by its more pronounced numerals, which make it stand out. It's important to note that this particular coin does not have a mint mark, meaning it was produced at the Philadelphia Mint in fine condition, the coin will show some wear, but the main features and details will still be quite visible. The 1958 wheat penny is significant for a few reasons. First, it marks the end of an era in American coinage, transitioning to the Lincoln Memorial design that we know today. Secondly, collectors are particularly interested in the 1958 large date without a mint mark due to its historical context and its relative rarity in higher grades. Now, let's talk about the current market value of the 1958 large date wheat penny in fine condition. As of today, you can expect to see these coins selling in the auction market for around $3,000 depending on the specific details and overall demand. However, some collectors are willing to pay more for coins that come with a verified grading certification from professional services like PEX or NENC. For example, in recent auctions, we've seen fine condition 1958 wheat pennies sell for approximately $3,900 as various online platforms. One notable auction even featured a few coins that fetched close to $4,000 reflecting the growing interest in collecting these pieces. So whether you're an avid collector or just getting started, the 1958 large date wheat wheat penny without a mint mark in fine condition is a noteworthy piece for your collection. It's an excellent way to connect with American history while potentially making a sound investment. Don't forget to check auction sites and local coin shops to see what you can find. Next up, the 1970 large date five cent coin. If you're a collector or just curious about its value, stay tuned because we'll explore its history, features, and current market value. First, let's talk about the history of this coin. 
The Canada Five Cents coin has a rich history, first introduced in 1858. By 1970, Canada was transitioning through significant economic changes and the five cent piece was no exception. The 1970 coin is notable for its large date, which sets it apart from its predecessors. Now, let's take a closer look at its design. The obverse side features the iconic portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Arnold Machine. Surrounding her portrait are the words Elizabeth II DG, Regina. On the reverse side, we see the beaver, a symbol of Canada, along with the denomination five cents. What's important to note here is the large date feature. This distinction can significantly affect its value. Now, let's get to the part you're all waiting for the value of the 1970 large date five cent coin. In good condition, this coin can fetch between $19,000 at auction, depending on factors like demand and market trends. However, if you happen to have one in uncirculated condition, the value can skyrocket reaching up to $21,000 or more. So, what determines the value of a coin like this? Several factors come into play, including its mint state, rarity, and current demand in the collector market. The term good condition typically refers to coins that show some wear, but still maintain their primary design features. Remember, the better the condition, the higher the value. To give you a clearer picture, let's look at some recent auction examples. Just last month, a Canada 5 cents 1970 large date coin in good condition sold for around $19,000. However, there was another auction where an uncirculated version went for over $25,000, showing just how valuable this coin can be. Next up, the 1947 copper wheat one penny, particularly focusing on the version with a large date and a deep mint mark in color changed. Dirty condition if you're a collector or just curious about the value of this unique penny, stay tuned as we uncover its significance, history, and what it's worth in today's auction market. First, let's take a moment to appreciate the historical context of the 1947 wheat penny. This coin was produced during a significant era in American history. Just after World War II, in a time when the economy was shifting and recovering, the Lincoln wheat penny was minted from 1909 to 1958. Designed by Victor David Brenner, the obverse features a portrait of President Abraham Lincoln, while the reverse showcases two wheat stalks, symbolizing the nation's agriculture and prosperity. In 1947, over 1.1 billion pennies were minted across the various locations. However, today we'll focus specifically on the version struck at the Denver Mint, which is indicated by the D-Mint mark. This is where things get interesting. The 1947 D-Wheat penny is recognized for its large date, a feature that distinguishes it from other varieties of the same year. Collectors often seek out this specific version because of its relative rarity compared to its counterparts. Despite the high mintage, certain factors can influence its value significantly, particularly condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. The color change, dirty condition of this coin may seem undesirable at first glance, but it adds an interesting aspect to its value story. Now, let's discuss the condition of this penny. When we refer to dirty condition, we mean that the coin has not been cleaned or restored, and it carries the patina and dirt accumulated over time. While many collectors prefer pristine coins, a dirty coin can often have a charm of its own and tell a story of its journey through time. Moreover, the color change typically occurs due to environmental exposure or chemical reactions over the years. This can add an intriguing factor for collectors who appreciate the history and character of coins. Let's get to the heart of the matter, the value of the 1947 copper wheat penny with a D-mint mark in color changed, dirty condition. As of today, in the current auction market, the value for this specific coin can vary widely based on its exact condition and collector interest. While most examples may sell for $175,000 unique specimens or those with interesting historical anecdotes can command higher prices. Recent auction sales have seen this particular penny range from $170,000 with some exceptional examples fetching upwards of $175,000 if they have interesting color changes or historical provenance that appeals to collectors. It's essential to remember that the market can fluctuate and prices can change based on demand. So, there you have it. The 1947 copper wheat penny with a D-mint mark in color changed, dirty condition is a fascinating piece of American numismatic history. Whether you're an avid collector or just starting, keep an eye out for this penny, it could be more valuable than you think. Next up, most valuable Canada five cents coin from 1966, featuring the large date. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or just starting your collection, this video is packed with valuable information, so make sure to stick around until the end. First, let's take a closer look at the Canada 5 cents 1966 large date coin. 
This coin is particularly interesting due to its design and historical significance. The obverse features the iconic portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by the renowned artist Arnold Machine. The reverse showcases a beaver, symbolizing Canada's rich natural resources, and it was created by the talented artist George M. Kruger Gray. This particular coin was minted in nickel and has a diameter of 21.2 mm. One of the distinguishing features of the 1966 large date version is the prominent size of the five and the cents inscription, making it easily recognizable among collectors. But why is this coin so valuable? Now, let's talk about the coin's value in today's auction market. As of now, a Canada 5 cents 1966 large date coin in good condition can fetch anywhere between $49,000. However, coins that are graded in better condition, such as very fine or uncirculated grades, can see values rise significantly. In pristine condition, the value may reach upwards of $48,000 or more, especially if it is a part of a complete set or possesses a unique characteristic that sets it apart from other coins. Looking at recent auction results, we've seen coins like the 1966 large date in better conditions sold for as much as $49,000 factors that influence this include the demand from collectors, the coin's condition, and any unique attributes it may have. So how can you determine the value of your coin? First, it's essential to assess its condition. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to uncirculated. Good condition means there's minimal wear and the coin is recognizable and retains its primary features. You can use grading guides and compare your coin to similar examples online. Preservation is key when it comes to maintaining the value of your coins. Always handle them by the edges, store them in a cool, dry place, and consider using coin holders or capsules to prevent scratches and tarnishing. If you're interested in learning more about the Canada 5 cents coin series or want to stay updated on auction prices, consider checking out resources like the Canadian Coin News or websites like eBay and Heritage Auctions for live market updates. You can also join online forums and communities where collectors share insights and tips. In summary, the Canada 5 cents 1966 large date coin is not just a piece of currency, it's a collectible with historical significance and potential value. Whether you have one in your collection or are thinking about starting one, understanding its worth can enhance your numismatic journey. Next up, most valuable USA copper wheat one penny from 1951 without a mint mark in fine condition. How much do you think this coin could fetch in today's auction market? Well, stay tuned because you might be surprised. The 1951 Wheat Penny is one of the iconic pieces of American coinage history, part of the beloved Lincoln Wheat Penny series, which ran from 1909 to 1958. These pennies were minted from copper and feature Abraham Lincoln on the obverse, while the reverse boasts two wheat ears flanking the words one cent and United States of America, a symbol of America's agricultural roots. Now, let's focus on the 1951 Wheat Penny without a mint mark. This particular coin was struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which didn't use a mint mark for pennies at the time. Over 284 million of these pennies were minted in 1951, so they aren't particularly rare in the grand scheme of things. However, the value of this penny can skyrocket depending on the condition, demand, and market trends. For this video, we're talking about the 1951 wheat penny in fine condition. What does that mean exactly? A coin in fine condition will show moderate wear, but most of the major design elements, including Lincoln's features and the wheat stalks, will still be easily recognizable. While it's not pristine like a mint state coin, it still holds significant historical value. Now, let's get to the part you're all waiting for, the value. You might think that a penny minted in the millions wouldn't be worth much, but when it comes to auctions, the value of any coin is determined by its condition, rarity, and most importantly, the demand from collectors. A 1951 wheat penny without a mint mark in fine condition typically sells for around $10,000 in casual markets. But in auctions, especially if the coin has a particularly appealing strike or comes from a historical collection, the price can climb even higher. In recent years, we've seen a slight uptick in demand for vintage wheat pennies, driven by both seasoned collectors and newer numismatists looking to complete their collections. For a coin like the 1951 wheat penny in fine condition, prices at auction can range from $11,000 depending on the buyer's interest. On rare occasions, pennies with unique attributes or provenance may even sell for more. So why do these seemingly common pennies hold such value? For one, Lincoln Wheat pennies are a beloved series among collectors, and many hobbyists want to own a complete set. Even though the 1951 penny may not be the rarest, its historical significance and copper composition make it a prized possession for many. If you happen to have a 1951 Wheat penny in your collection, make sure to check its condition closely. Fine condition might not sound like the highest grade, but it still adds value, 
especially when you factor in the increasing interest in mid-20th century American coins. To maximize the value of your 1951 wheat penny, consider getting it authenticated and graded by a professional service. While grading can come with some costs, a certified grade can give your coin a much higher chance of selling for a premium price at auction so. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for these classic wheat pennies. They might just be the hidden gems you're looking for. Next up, the Canada 5 cents 1968 large date. If you're a collector or just curious about coin values, you're in the right place. Let's explore what makes this coin so special and valuable in today's auction market. The 1968 Canada 5 cents coin is part of a long-standing series that has captivated collectors since its introduction in 1908. This particular coin features a large date variety, which was produced during a significant time in Canadian history. In 1968, Canada was celebrating its centennial, marking 100 years of confederation. The design of the 5 cents coin features the iconic beaver, a symbol of Canada's rich natural resources and industrious spirit, designed by the talented engraver Thomas Shingles. On the obverse side of the coin, you'll find the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, facing right. This design was used from 1965 until 1989 and is recognized for its detail and artistry. The reverse side showcases the beaver, along with the denomination and year. Now, what distinguishes the 1968 large date from its counterparts? The large date refers to the numerals 1968 being noticeably larger than those on the small date variety, which adds to its uniqueness. While both versions exist, collectors often prefer the large date for its aesthetic appeal and rarity. So, how valuable is the Canada 5 cents 1968 large date in today's market? As of now, a coin in fine condition can fetch between $10,000 in auctions. However, this value can fluctuate based on demand and the specific characteristics of the coin itself, such as its grade and any unique features it might have. Keep in mind that auction prices can vary significantly. Recently, we've seen some 1968 large date coins sell for higher prices, especially those in better condition or with unique provenance. Coins graded as very fine or extra fine can command prices up to $10,000 or more, depending on the buyer's interest. For those of you who have this coin in your collection or are thinking about starting one, here are a few tips to keep it in top shape use coin holders or albums specifically designed for numismatics. Avoid rubber bands and tape, do not clean coins with abrasive materials. Instead, gently rinse with water and dry with a soft cloth when holding coins, always do so by the edges to avoid fingerprints or oils from your skin. In conclusion, the Canada 5 cents 1968 large date coin holds a unique place in Canadian numismatics. Its connection to history, distinct design, and current market value make it a sought-after piece for collectors. Next up the 1948 copper wheat penny, without a mint mark. What makes this coin even more interesting is its condition, blackened, dirty, and unpolished, yet it's still catching the eye of auction houses across the nation. At first glance this penny might not seem like much, it's dirty, it's discolored, and the copper has blackened over time. But what if I told you that these coins are fetching surprising prices in today's auction market, even in this less than ideal condition? Let's uncover the secrets behind its value and what collectors are willing to pay for it. Before we talk about the value, let's take a step back to understand the coin's history. The 1948 copper wheat penny was minted right after World War II. It was part of the famous Lincoln Wheat Cent series that featured President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and the two wheat stalks on the reverse, symbolizing America's agricultural roots. The 1948 wheat penny, like most others in the series, was struck in copper. But here's a key detail, coins without a mint mark like this one were minted in Philadelphia. This makes it a bit more common than pennies with a D for Denver or S for San Francisco mint marks. So why does this particular penny stand out? The answer lies in a combination of factors. First, the coin is over 75 years old, which naturally gives it historical significance. But that's not all. Condition plays a crucial role in determining a coin's value. Typically, collectors prefer coins in mint or near-mint condition. However, coins like this 1948 wheat penny in blackened and dirty condition are rare in their own way. Many of these pennies were heavily circulated, and few were preserved, leaving fewer of these battle-worn coins available today. The black coloration likely comes from years of exposure to the elements, whether it was stored in a moist environment or buried for decades. For many collectors, coins in this kind of raw, untouched state tell a story making them desirable despite or perhaps because of their wear. Now, let's talk numbers. How much are people actually willing to pay for a 1948 copper week is sardi in this dirty, 
black condition in the auction market. Prices for this coin can vary significantly depending on the level of wear, the visibility of details, and, of course, the interest from bidders. Even in its dirty and blackened state, this penny has been known to sell for between $56,000 on average in online auctions and numismatic marketplaces. While that might not seem like a huge sum compared to more pristine coins, it's a surprising amount for a coin that, on the surface, looks far from perfect, and in some cases, collectors have paid even more when the coin exhibits certain rare features, such as die errors or double die varieties. If you have one of these blackened 1948 wheat pennies or are considering buying one at auction, here are a few tips first, never clean your coin. Even though it might be tempting to restore its shine, collectors prefer coins in their natural state. Cleaning can reduce the value of your coin significantly. Second, check for rare features. Look for signs of doubling on the obverse or reverse misalignments or minting errors. These can boost the value of your penny significantly, even in worn condition in the world of coin collecting. Even the most weathered and worn out coins can hold significant value. The 1948 copper wheat penny without a mint mark especially in black and dirty condition, is a prime example of how historical context, rarity, and a coin's journey through time can create demand in the auction market. Next up, the 1979 Canada 5 cents coin with a large date, particularly focusing on its value in dirty condition. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your journey, this video is packed with valuable insights you won't want to miss. The 1979 Canada 5 cents coin is part of a long-standing series that has captivated collectors for decades. Minted in nickel, this coin features the iconic beaver design on the reverse, symbolizing Canada's natural resources and economic strength. On the obverse, we find the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, a staple in Canadian currency since 1953. This particular coin is known for its large date variety, where the year 1979 is more prominently displayed than in previous years. This subtle difference can be significant when evaluating the coin's rarity and value. When it comes to collectible coins, condition is key. A coin's grade significantly influences its market value. The 1979 Canada 5 cents coin can be found in various conditions, from uncirculated to heavily circulated. However, today we're focusing on the dirty condition variant. Coins in dirty condition might show signs of wear, tarnish, or even environmental damage. While many collectors prefer coins in pristine condition, dirty coins can still hold value, especially if they're rare or sought after. This is particularly true for the 1979 large date variant. Now, let's talk numbers. In today's auction market, the value of the 1979 Canada 5 cents coin in dirty condition can vary widely. Based on recent sales data, these coins can fetch anywhere from $67,000 depending on their overall condition and market demand. While it may seem low, it's essential to remember that even coins in dirty condition can appeal to specific collectors. Some may appreciate the character that comes with wear, or they might be looking for examples to complete their collection without breaking the bank. If you're looking to buy or sell the 1979 Canada 5 cents coin in dirty condition, there are several avenues to explore. Local coin shops often carry a variety of coins and can provide an appraisal. Additionally, online auction platforms like eBay or specialized coin auction sites are excellent places to find these coins or list them for sale. When selling, be sure to include detailed images of the coin, highlighting any imperfections. Transparency about its condition can help you attract the right buyers. In conclusion, the 1979 Canada 5 cents large date coin, even in dirty condition, holds a unique place in the hearts of collectors and can still carry value in today's market. Whether you're looking to add it to your collection or considering selling, understanding its worth is crucial. Next up, the 1909 Lincoln Wheat Penny with no mint mark and a large date. Stick around as we uncover its history, characteristics, and most importantly, its value in today's auction market. This is one coin you won't want to overlook. The 1909 Lincoln Wheat Penny is a special coin that holds a lot of historical significance. It was the very first year the US Mint issued any featuring the image of President Abraham Lincoln. This design was created to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Lincoln's birth, making it not just a piece of currency, but a symbol of American history. Now, what's really interesting about the 1909 Lincoln Wheat Penny is that it comes in a few variations. Some pennies from this year feature the designer's initials VEB on the reverse, while others, like the one we're discussing today, don't have the initials or a mint mark. The lack of a mint mark on this penny means it was minted in Philadelphia, which was standard at the time, as the Philadelphia Mint did not add mint marks to coins until later. 
Let's take a closer look at the design. The obverse features a profile of President Lincoln, which was quite groundbreaking at the time, as it was the first US coin to depict a historical figure. On the reverse, you'll see the iconic wheat ears surrounding the words one cent and United States of America. This reverse design stayed in circulation for 50 years until it was replaced by the Lincoln Memorial Penny in 1959. This coin was made from 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc, weighing in at 3.11 grams. This is the standard for pennies before the switch to zinc-coated copper in 1982. Now, what makes the 1909 wheat penny without a mint mark so special? It's all about rarity and condition. This particular penny is especially valuable because it was part of a limited mintage in 1909 and only a small number have survived in good condition over the years. And when we talk about coins, condition is everything. In fine condition, the details of the design are still visible, though the coin may show some signs of circulation and wear. For the 1909 penny, finding one in fine condition can make a huge difference in its market value. So, how much is a 1909 copper wheat penny with a large date and no mint mark worth in today's auction market? Well, its value can vary widely depending on several factors, including demand and the specifics of the auction. However, as of 2024, a penny in fine condition can fetch anywhere between $185,000 at auction. But that's not all if the coin is exceptionally well preserved or if there's intense bidding competition, the price can even go higher. In fact, Recent auctions have seen this coin selling for as high as $200,000 or more for well-preserved examples. It's important to keep in mind that collectors place a premium on coins from the first year of production, which is why 1909 is such a key date for the Lincoln Wheat series. If you're lucky enough to own a 1909 Lincoln Wheat penny, here are a few tips. First, always get your coin graded by a professional service like PEX or NEC. A certified grade will not only validate its condition but also increase its value at auction. Also, try to keep your penny in a protective holder to prevent further wear. Even small scratches or damage can significantly lower its value and if you're in the market to buy, be sure to do your research. Check recent auction prices, talk to experienced collectors, and don't be afraid to hold out for the best deal. Next up, the 1980 Canada 5 cents large date coin. Not only is this coin a staple in Canadian currency history, but it also holds considerable value in today's auction market, especially in fine condition. So, if you've got one of these coins tucked away, you might want to pay close attention. First, let's talk about the specifics of the coin itself. The 1980 Canada 5 cents features a distinctive design that many collectors appreciate. The obverse side showcases the iconic profile of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by the talented artist Susanna Blunt. On the reverse, you'll find the Canadian beaver, a national symbol representing industriousness and resilience. The large date version is characterized by its notably larger numerals compared to other years, making it easier to identify. Now, what makes this coin particularly interesting is its mintage. In 1980, Canada produced two varieties of the five-cent coin, the small date and the large date. The large date variety was produced in smaller quantities, which adds to its collectability and value. It's important to understand these differences when assessing the worth of your coin. Speaking of worth, the condition of a coin plays a crucial role in determining its value. The grading scale ranges from poor to mint state, and a fine condition coin falls somewhere in the middle. A fine condition 1980 Canada 5 cents will exhibit some wear but will retain enough detail for collectors to appreciate its design. Look for clear features on the beaver and the queen's profile, as well as intact lettering. For context, a fine condition coin should display moderate wear, meaning the details are visible but not as crisp as a higher grade coin. It's crucial to understand that the better the condition, the higher the market value. Now. Let's get to the exciting part, the value. As of today, a fine condition 1980 Canada 5 cents large date coin typically ranges from $6,000 in the auction market, depending on various factors such as demand, provenance, and the specifics of the auction itself. Interestingly, prices can fluctuate based on trends in the coin collecting community. If you're considering selling your coin, it might be beneficial to keep an eye on current auction listings and sales to gauge the best time to sell. Coins in better condition can fetch even higher prices, sometimes exceeding $6,000 or more. If you're looking to buy or sell this coin, there are several options. Online marketplaces like eBay, Heritage Auctions, and specialized coin dealers are great places to start. Always ensure you do your due diligence and check the seller's reputation before making a purchase. For sellers, 
local coin shops or numismatic shows can also provide a platform for selling your coin. It's always a good idea to get multiple appraisals if you're serious about selling. So, there you have it. The 1980 Canada 5 cents large date coin is not just a piece of currency, it's a valuable collectible that can add to your collection. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this coin is definitely one to keep an eye on. 1937 copper wheat penny without a mint mark. And this specific penny is in damaged condition, yet it still holds incredible value in today's auction market. So what makes this penny worth keeping an eye on? Stick around to find out. First, let's talk a little about the history of the 1937 wheat penny minted during the Great Depression. These pennies were made from 95% copper and were produced at several mints, including Philadelphia, which did not use a mint mark. If your penny is without a mint mark, it came from Philly. Over 309 million of these coins were struck, making it relatively common for its time, but damaged coins still can attract attention. Now, what makes this particular 1937 penny in damaged condition stand out? Well, collectors are still willing to pay a surprising amount for these coins, even in less than perfect condition. Damage can include wear from circulation, discoloration, corrosion, and even scratches. While such imperfections generally lower a coin's value, there are always exceptions depending on rarity, demand, and history. So, what can a 1937 wheat penny in damaged condition fetch in today's auction market? Well, it's not uncommon for such coins to be sold for $25,000 depending on the severity of the damage. However, in some special auctions, these pennies have been known to go for. Higher prices sometimes reaching up to $32,000, $1,000 or more if there's historical interest or demand from a passionate collector. Now, you might be asking why would someone pay that much for a damaged penny? Well, for some collectors, it's not just about having a pristine example. They may be filling gaps in their collection looking for historical coins, or simply intrigued by the stories these well-worn pennies might tell. After all, each damaged coin has traveled through time, possibly surviving World War II, the Great Depression, and more. So there you have it, the 1937 copper wheat penny without a mint mark, even in damaged condition, still holds some real value today. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, never underestimate the potential of these historical coins. Who knows? you might just have one lying around that could fetch a decent price at auction. Next up the 1952 copper wheat one penny without a mint mark. We'll explore its features, history, and most importantly, its current value in the auction market. So grab your magnifying glasses and let's get started. The wheat penny, officially known as the Lincoln penny, was minted from 1909 to 1958. Designed by Victor David Brenner, the coin features a profile of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse with the reverse displaying two stalks of wheat. This design not only reflects American agricultural heritage, but also represents an era of coinage that collectors hold dear. The 1952 wheat penny, specifically, is noteworthy because it was produced during a time when the US economy was booming post-World War II, leading to increased coin production. However, today we're focusing on a unique variant the 1952 without a mint mark. First, let's talk about the minting. The 1952 Lincoln penny was minted in three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. However, the coins without a mint mark were produced exclusively at the Philadelphia Mint in 1952. The total mintage of the Lincoln penny reached approximately 430 million. Despite this high number, certain conditions and factors can significantly influence a coin's value today. When examining a 1952 wheat penny in fine condition, Collectors and investors look for specific characteristics. Fine condition typically means that the coin shows moderate wear. The details of Lincoln's hair are discernible, and the wheat ears on the reverse are visible, but the finer details may be softened. Now, let's get to the million-dollar question. What's the current market value of the 1952 copper wheat penny without a mint mark in fine condition? According to recent auction results and coin value guides, a 1952 wheat penny in fine condition can sell for around $29,000 depending on the demand, and the specific characteristics of the coin. However, prices can vary based on the individual auction house and the buyer's willingness to pay. For instance, we recently saw a 1952 wheat penny without a mint mark in fine condition fetch $35,000 at a popular auction. While this may not seem like a huge sum, it's essential to remember that rarity and conditions significantly impact the price. Coins that are well-preserved or possess unique attributes can command higher prices. If you're looking to add a 1952 copper wheat penny to your collection, here are a few tips. Always check the coin for authenticity and grading. Getting your coin professionally graded can provide credibility and potentially increase its value in the market. Furthermore, consider joining coin clubs or online forums to connect with other collectors. Sharing knowledge and resources can lead to valuable insights and opportunities to trade or sell coins. Collecting coins like the 1952 copper wheat penny can be both rewarding and exciting. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting understanding the value and significance of each coin can enhance your appreciation of this hobby. So keep searching, keep learning, 
and you never know what treasures you might find thanks for tuning don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more coin related content.